Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Get a universal message and see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. All right, so let's see what, what, what does the universe want you to be aware of at this time? What do you need? What does Pisces need at this time on their soul's journey? All right, Pisces, we got three cards. Okay, first card showing up is an affirmation for a positive change. Affirmation for positive change, Pisces. This looks like you're going to be moving forward here. This looks like you're washing away the old and stepping into the new. Okay, it looks like something is headed towards you like your ships are about to come in. Something you've been waiting for is finally here. Right? So this is an affirmation for positive change, Pisces. There's going to be a lot of positive changes occurring in the next several weeks here. This is an affirmation for healing the heart. Okay? This positive change gives you the strength to heal from any hurts and pains or traumatizing situations. Okay? So when you be more positive... You can change in the way you feel, right? You can heal your heart, okay? So, yeah, a lot of positive change towards healing, okay? Last but not least is make a move. So, the moment you decide to change and move forward and not dwell on what hurt you, you, you will have that positive change. You will be able to heal, but soon as you make the first move, you have to make the first move. You have to take the action. All right. So this is the guidance here on your soul's journey for you, Pisces. Let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy of your person. Let's see how they feeling about you when it comes to love, romance and relationships. So, okay. It must need to be pushed up a little bit more. All right, so Pisces, let's hop into it. What is the energy of Pisces person and how are they feeling? Okay, we got the seven of wands, okay? This is someone who may be a protector, okay? Someone who, you know, if I see you, I see them. Woohoo! Right? The devil, okay? This is This could be a toxic situation, okay? I feel like this is something that may be uh, contracted, okay? Ooh, right, cause or just toxic, right? To to always have to be under this person's wing for wherever I go, you go. When I see you, I see them. You know, that's the energy. This person is very protective over you, like a guard dog, right? Temperance here. But it seems like things are a little dry. Look at that cup. It's a little dry. It's like the feeling is leaving or something. Okay. It's like I keep trying to mix this emotion. I keep trying to show Pisces how much I care about them. But it's like they're not receiving it. Is their cup broke? Why is all the water leaking out? Why is all the love that I'm trying to put into Pisces leaking out that cup? And I'm going to say because you, you need to let them breathe. Pisces need to breathe. Pisces can't have you around all day, every day. Okay? And that's what I'm feeling. I feel the pressure. Like, come on. Go to work. Do something. Okay? Go hang out with the girls or the fellas. Like, do something outside of being with me and dragging me around everywhere like wherever there's you there's me wherever there's me there's you and it doesn't seem like this is the type of you know that you like it ain't like you like being around this person all day okay we got the wheel of fortune wow okay and this wheel of fortune speaks of great things it speaks of the change of one's life you know so we gonna hop into this Pisces. We gonna see, cause that ten is also the end of something. Okay, so let's see what is this devil energy? What is this contract? What is this? Okay, it's the four of swords. Okay, maybe this person trying to recover from you, Pisces. Maybe they miss having you around them all like that, right? And they want to speak some form of truth because they're hurting. 
Okay? It's not over yet. Whatever it is, it's not over, right? It's contracted. Hmm. It's something that's hard to let go of, right? That's that's what this person feels. You're hard to let go of. You're hard to heal from. You're hard to recover from. You're hard to forget. And that's just their truth. Okay, I thought they was like smothering you. But no, this is them can't stop thinking about you. This is them wondering why they well ran dry. This is them wondering why you blocked them or why you so guarded when they uh, call you or see you or try to touch you or speak to you. Right? This is them wanting that to change for the better. Right? So this person is like having a lot of obsessive thoughts over you. Because they cannot heal from you. They want to speak to you. They want to tell you their truth here. And what is that truth here? The queen of staffs. They'll fight for you. Right? This isn't over, Pisces. The queen of wands, she puts in that work and she's very, very confident. Okay? And she sees success in this situation. And that's what she wants, right? She's never going to give up. She has too much pride to give up. Okay, she's not one to be beaten. So Pisces, this person that you're dealing with, I feel like there's been some form of separation. Maybe because they did smother you. Maybe that is still a part of it. But this person misses you. And they're hurting because they cannot heal from you. They cannot let you go. They cannot recover from this. Therefore, they still want this, right? They still seek success in this. They just wondering, why did you block me? Why don't I have access to you no more here with the seven of wands, right? And we got the king of wands. They don't have access to you no more, Pisces, because you stood your ground, right? You stood your ground with this person. You didn't allow them because usually that's a little gecko, but it's a scarab now. But you didn't allow them to stick to you like that. You know, these little scarabs, they, they crawl in your skin. They, they go and eat you from the inside out. Right? So you had to become stronger within yourself, more steady within yourself because this person was draining you from the inside out. And that's why you blocked them. You just couldn't take it no more. You had to be steady and secure within yourself. And that's why, but they don't know that that's why, right? You had to be in your power with this person. Mr. Casile don't feel king of coins. Pisces, you feel like you don't need this person. You good. King of Pentacles, he's good by himself. And that's that's the thing. You you didn't you don't need them. You don't need them. But they want you still. They still value you. They still see this as something long term. Mm, Pisces, this somebody who ain't about to give up, right? They like, is Pisces cup broke? I've been pouring all my love into them, right? It's like, what's going on here? Ten of swords. They feel so defeated. They feel like everything they pour into you leaked out. And they feel defeated. And this queen of wands, that pride won't let this person be defeated. So for therefore, for them, it's not over. It's not over with for them. Okay. They still want something good to come out of this situation. Judgment. Judgment. That too is feminine energy. Right? This person crying like a biatch. Right? But judgment is also about being delivered. Okay? Being uplifted. The rise. Okay? Not making up excuses. Going from within. And when this sound of this trumpet rang, 
This person going to make their move towards you with this wheel of fortune. I feel like this is somebody who really likes you and you really just didn't like them like that. You really wasn't feeling them like that, but they they were hovering over you and they were annoying, right? And and you really just didn't like that. But the truth is that they liked you like that and they can't shake you, right? And they too proud to let you go. They pride won't let them let you go. They wondering why you blocked them. Why is you sticking to your guns? Why is you in that energy of feeling unbothered and not needing me? Why everything I pour into you seem to leak out? Why do I feel so defeated? That's what's driving this person. The thoughts that are going through their head. In their mind, they still feel like they can make this work. Because you probably let them down easy. Page of Cups. You probably let this person down easy, Pisces. Right? This Page of Cups is unexpected good news. Surprises. Right? So, which brings me to the Wheel of Fortune. They still see something good coming out of this. They want you to recognize that, hell, they is your person. And they will have this success with you. Pisces. This is somebody who not giving up real easy. Okay. This is somebody who not going to give up on you just like that. They just not going to let you slip through their fingers. They value you too much. They value you too much. I don't know what you did to this person. But you going to see them again. Right. You going to see them again. Ace of Wands. This person wants to have a second chance. They want the opportunity to show you something. What is this person wanting to show Pisces? Let's get some final messages. What is this person's next move here? What do they want to show Pisces? Pisces, they want to pour into you. They want you to be in alignment with them. They want to show you that they could be the person for you. Right? But I don't feel like you like them that much. They feel like they could be the person for you. They feel like they're your soulmate here with this hermit. Okay? Major Arcanas. They feel like they're your soulmate. And they want to pour into you. They want to, They feel like they're the one for you here. King of Cups. You got this person's heart. You stole this person's heart and they lonely without you. This is a very emotionally mature man and his cup is empty and he missing his fish. He missing that Pisces. Look at that high priestess at the bottom. Yeah, you got this person's heart and when they love, they love hard. The king of cups, when he love you, he love hard. He ain't going to just let you get away like that. Okay. So you stole this person's heart. And they 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 not gonna give up on this situation. I just feel like you don't like them the way that they like you. Right? Death card. Transformation. They feel like you just switched up on them. Like you just cut them off. Like they wasn't nothing. And that hurts them. Therefore, they still coming because they got too much pride. Right? They too attached with the devil. They got all these obsessive thoughts of viewing them together. And you just felt like they were smothering you. And that you had no breathing room. And they felt like that that was love. That they were loving you. That they were doing all they can. That they were good to you. And you may have been good to them. You Like I said, you may have let them down easy. I don't feel like you dogged them or disrespect them. I feel like you just kind of like disappeared and they're searching for you. And when they find you, they're going to think you all still have a chance at this relationship. Because that's their assess of thoughts. But really, I feel like you don't like them like that because they're smothering. They don't give you a chance to breathe. They were following you everywhere you go. Like they were just genuinely, you know, nice. But it annoyed you. 
High priest is still crossing that energy. Okay. Pisces, listen to your intuition when it comes to interacting with this person. Pay very close attention when it comes to interacting with this person. Okay, let your intuition lead you with this situation. All right, I hope it resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. We have the third chakra, and it's the solar plexus chakra. This one is relevant to self-worth and self-esteem. I honor myself by doing things that please me, not only those that please others. I, I am empowered as I release the need to live up to other people's unrealistic expectations of me. When I respect and approve of myself, others will naturally do the same. I teach others how to treat and respect me by how I treat and respect myself. I know that I am worthy of love and respect. The boundaries I create with others acknowledge my self-worth. So self-esteem and self-worth is our positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.